all right and now that say that we finish all of our animations that you want to do now we want to go into actor X because this is the very important part this is when we start exporting everything and actually before we go to export everything we want to set up your uh, dummy bone and what the dummy bone is going to be used for is it's going to show where UDK were to uh, place this object or spawn it so you will go up in here to create tab you will go up into helpers and you'll see dummy right here and make sure you see I'm on animation click in to get out of animation mode because if you move the object around while you're in animations you can mess up your frames so make sure you're in out, out of animation so click dummy and create your dummy object and you want to make sure the dummy object covers most almost your entire object so go up here and move move my dummy object and it does almost a good job but this will do for now and you can see it engulfs the whole entire gun almost but this will be good for now and then after you get that set up you want to connect this dummy bone to your entire object your uh, your mesh and also your bones so you want to go up into here to your schematic view click that and you can see right here this is the linkage so this is my main gun handle and see it controls all these bones um, now you want to connect this dummy to everything and you want to make sure name your dummy BIP01 this is just a basic naming convention that goes into UDK and just lets the other person know that this uh, dummy object controls everything so after you name it and then you can also rename other bones in here if you want to or if you haven't changed the names yet you can rename them in here just double click on them and you can rename them and just click off of them but say right here okay now I want to connect my dummy into the root bone so you go up in here to connect you want to click and hold don't let go because if you let go you can't connect anything so click hold on and drag it to your main and now it's connected actually I messed up what I did was I connected this and I made this the parent and that's the children you want to actually click what object you want to be the child to and then you're going to click onto the parent and now you can see that that's the parent and this if I move that object everything moves with it but then you also want to uh, connect your mesh to it so connect your mesh into the dummy now the dummy object connects everything this is what you want so you got your schematic and now that I got everything done now I'm in the final stages of exporting and where you will go for to get into actor X you go into utilities tab and you will go on more and you see that I have actor X but for, for people that don't have actor X into your utilities where you will go let's get down max the first step you will go into your uh, your folder and you want to go into your computer and this is the path that I have to get into the actor X uh, plugin and this is in the UDK folder and it comes with it when you download it but here's the path and you want to make sure you get the right one for your Macs because see this is Max 2011 64 bit that's the max that I have um, some people may have 2008 uh, 2010 just pick the one that you have just uh, depending on what how many bits you have that's where you select and from there you want to copy this and then paste it into your Autodesk plugins or your plugins into your 3ds max so that way we could use it and then after that you restart your max and it'll be in your uh, utilities but since I have it already I'll go into utilities I don't have it in my little shortcuts right here so I'll click more click on actor X and hit OK now this is when we're going to start exporting um, our mesh and right here this is the output folder um, depending on your specifications or if you have a folder made already this is um, where you want to start getting organization and you can see right here I'm just gonna go into desktop this is just for uh, showcase purposes but if you have a specific folder say you have a UDK folder or a weapons folder you want to put in there but this is just to show how to start it out so here's my path and I'll just click use path Click on desktop. Alright. 
telling me not to use it. But it's in the do not use folder. So that's the path to it. And mesh file name. And I'm going to name this buzzkill. This is the name of the gun. So that's the file name. Buzzkill. And you can save right here. Save the mesh. This is where you want to click. And this is going to save into that folder. So you click save. And then um, actor X is going to go through some dialog boxes just to let you know if you successfully added your vertices or not. You see I successfully added these vertices. Um, if you did something wrong with your bones, uh, it will let you know right away that zero vertices have been added and it will tell you there's a problem. See so skin a buzzkill, PSK written. So I successfully written my PSK. So now after this. After you uh, make your PSK file for your mesh and bones, now you want to go to your animations. And this animation file name, I'm going to call it Buzzkill Animation. Just, you know, for organization purposes. And just let, if anyone else wants to mess with this, just let them know that it's an animation for the weapon Buzzkill. And sequence name. Now, um, some of you may have different kind of animations. Since I just have that simple jitter, it's basically that jitter is made for firing or a kickback. I'm going to say that it's going to be firing animation. But you know, some of you could have like um, jitter or rocket boot or rocket shot or when a handle moves around. Just be very specific on um, what that animation is. So I got the animation sequence name and the range. You go down here and you can look at the range. And you can see the range on these keyframes. I'll just make sure I select everything because you want to make sure you have everything selected. And I have everything selected. And the range goes up to 62 frames. You can see down here. So I'll say the range is from 0 to 62 okay and after that you want to go digest animation and you go animation digested and make sure it's the right one firing animation and it'll say total frame 63 don't be um, don't get caught off guard that it says 63 the reason why it's 63 frames instead of 62 what you put down here is actually zero counts as a frame so all together 62 frames so hit OK and after you digest it, you're going to go into your animation manager. Click animation manager. And you can see that my animation is right here. But you want to put on the output package because this is what we're going to use to uh, export into UDK or to import. So you'll click right here and move. Now move in the output package. And you want to hit save. And it's going to use the same path that we use for the output folder. And they'll go in there. So you want to hit save. And it'll say that you have written your PSA and bones, sequence, everything works. So that's how you know everything works. Um, that's it for this tutorial. Um, my other colleagues will go into in depth on how to import and manipulate the gun. Thank you again for listening and have a good day.